Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have three more DIYs for the holiday season. These aren't really arts and craft DIYs. These are kind of like a separate category, which is why I put them in a separate video. I'm going to show you how to make three holiday pampering products. I think these are great for gifting. You can group them together and give them as a gift to somebody in your life or individually. I think they make great hostess gifts or even just for those acquaintances. I don't really know any woman who wouldn't enjoy or doesn't want a little bit of pampering time. So the first DIY are these peppermint bath salts. For starters, I definitely love the theme. I love the candy cane peppermint vibe. I think it's so super cute. For this project, you're gonna need three cups of Epsom salt. You're also going to need two cups of sea salt, one cup of baking soda, some peppermint oil, or me personally, I just used peppermint extract, and red food coloring. So in a large bowl, you're just gonna combine all of your kind of like powdery dry ingredients. So you're gonna put the Epsom salt, the sea salt and the baking soda. Step two is to go ahead and add your peppermint oil or extract, whatever you went with. I used about 15 to 20 drops, but go with what you feel. You wanna stir that in there, definitely make sure it's evenly distributed. And to get that candy cane vibe, you're gonna separate your bath salts into two different bowls, equal parts. It doesn't have to be super specific, but you're essentially going to only add the red food coloring to one of those. I used about four to six drops, but again, whatever works for you. I would say definitely don't use too much. It's not gonna be as red as a candy cane. And if you make it that red, when you put it into the bathtub, it's gonna like be too much color. You're gonna start seeing it seep and stain, and so none of that's good. So just put a little bit, they'll get the idea. And then last but not least is of course packaging. I chose to put mine in little mason jars. You want to layer your bath salts, white, red, white, red, etc, etc, and then decorate them however you feel. I think it's super cute if you wrap them in twine. There's also burlap or burlap string. There's a whole bunch of different options. And then my favorite thing to do, I've just been obsessed with chalkboard labeling. Um, I definitely recommend sticking a chalkboard label on there and labeling it peppermint bath salts. The next item is this gingerbread sugar scrub. First of all, it smells amazing. If you like the smell of gingerbread, gingerbread cookies, or if it reminds you of Christmas and the holiday season in general, then you are going to love this stuff. A lot of you, if you're into baking, probably have all of these products at home, which is why it makes it such a quick and easy and affordable DIY. So you are going to need some brown sugar. You're also gonna need pure cane or granulated sugar coconut oil, vanilla extract, cinnamon, nutmeg, ground ginger, and allspice. So you're gonna need a bowl again, and in that bowl you're gonna combine all of your sugars. You're also gonna put in the coconut oil, and the recipe online says to use a mixer, but I think that you're totally fine just folding it together rapidly. <laughs> I don't personally own a mixer and I couldn't seem to find my hand mixer. I might need to buy one of those pretty soon here, but I just went ahead and did it by hand and I think it turned out just fine. Obviously it's going to be coarse, which works because it's meant to be a scrub. Once you have that all incorporated together, you're going to add your vanilla and then the rest of your spices. So like the nutmeg, the ground ginger, all that stuff. And again, you want to mix that together so that it's evenly distributed. And you should start to see it kind of get fluffy and a sort of whipped texture. And last but not least, go ahead and put it in a jar. I went with a small mason jar again, and instead of doing a chalkboard label, I thought it would be so much cuter to have a printed label. This one, I think there's a lot more information to say. You can either put the ingredients on one side and a little gingerbread on the front. Another option that I think is really cool is to explain what it is or how to use it because let me tell you using this on your lips is absolute heaven and you're gonna have to like struggle not to eat it up then again all these ingredients are edible so it's not the worst thing in the world this next DIY you can definitely find recipes for everywhere um, but I do think it's really fun to add to this group of DIYs because how cute would all three of these be together as a little gift? So it is a DIY bath bomb. To add a little holiday flair I decided to title these snowball bath bombs. You know like if you're throwing a snowball bath bomb, you get it? <laughs> for this recipe you're going to need baking soda, Epsom salt or sea salt, castor oil or vegetable oil, 
food coloring, water, and if you want to add any essential oils, then you can totally do that. And then you're going to need some kind of mold. So you can buy a soap mold, or for me, I actually found that using a hollow ornament is much, much easier. You're going to want to mix all of your dry ingredients together first. And the tricky part about this is that when you're adding your wet ingredients, you need to do it very, very carefully because you can end up activating the citric acid and then boom, your bath bomb is done. Some people recommend using a spray bottle to do this, but I find that if you're just super duper careful and put it in there slowly, that you'll be totally fine. So you want to mix all of those wet ingredients in their own container, that way you can kind of get it all done at once and then again pour it in very slowly, like maybe pour in a little bit and then stir it, make sure it's well mixed up, pour a little bit more and then stir it and keep going until all of your wet ingredients are used up. You're going to notice that the powder starts to clump together and it's kind of forming a different texture it's when you know you are good to go and you can put it into your soap mold or your your ornament mold or if you found some other kind of mold that you're interested in you want to put it in there press down really hard make sure there's not a lot of like gaps or air bubbles and then smush it together and let it dry I heard that you can pop them in the fridge a lot of tutorials or recipes said pop them in the fridge for three hours and you should be good to go I'm one of those people who's like no way man has to be overnight um, I just think things come out better when you take the time to do them. So I recommend overnight, but I just thought I'd mention that some people say that three hours in the fridge will do you solid. These are a little bit more tricky to wrap. I think it's kind of on the pricier side if you leave them in the ornament and gift them that way, because then you have to buy a whole bunch of different ornaments. And if you do the mold style, then that's even harder because you can't just give somebody the mold. So I really like the idea of putting them in a little plastic baggie. Another cute idea is to use parchment paper or or even like an old brown bag from like a shopping store bag because I feel like it kind of gives it that lush vibe so if you want to get like a store bag a brown one if you want to get real fancy you can print out all the ingredients on a sticker and stick that on there as well I think those are the best ways personally for me to wrap it but make sure you label it snowball bath bomb because then people will know <laughs> All right, so those are all the DIYs for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, of course, letting me know which one is your favorite, or if you have any other holiday-inspired DIYs, because I am still on the hunt for a couple more. If you ever recreate any of the stuff I do, I absolutely love it when you guys send me photos. And you can do that using my Twitter, or my Instagram, or my Snapchat and the links to all of those or the handles to all of those are down in the description box. Down there you will also find all of the ingredients that I used and the specific measurements for those ingredients. So be sure to check out down there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!